Hi, this is I from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today's book is Mickey Mouse and His Spaceship from 1952. So let's get started. Listen to this, said Mickey Mouse, and he read from the evening paper. Big contest, $50,000 prize for first round trip to the moon. Oh, Mickey, cried Minnie Mouse. Think how dangerous it would be. Think how wonderful it would be, cried Mickey. I hope Donald Duck and I can get our spaceship finished in time. Mickey and Donald speed up the work on their spaceship. They would build in it in an old factory at the edge of town. Be sure not to mention this to anyone, Donald, Mickey said in a serious tone. There would be plenty of people trying to get that prize. Donald promised, but he ran into Goofy the very next day. Coming to my birthday party next week? asked Goofy. I don't know, said Donald, smugly. I might be on my way to the moon then. Donald didn't notice the tough-looking fellow nearby. Pig-leg Pete had heard everything. He silently... Followed Donald to the factory and saw the spaceship Donald and Mickey were working on. Mickey and Donald worked day and night checking their instruments and launching gear and finally laying in surprise. At last, everything was in order. Tomorrow is the big day, said Mickey. We'll need a good night's sleep. So they locked the doors and went home. As soon as they were out of sight, Pigleg Pete went to work, and then in the moment he had broken the lock and opened the door. After another few moments, he was pushing the precious spaceship out into the night with a big truck waiting. In the morning, when Minnie and Daisy Duck drove the boys out for their secret takeoff, the spaceship was gone. Mickey and Donald was angry. Look at those prints, shouted Donald. One shoe, wait, one shoe print in one hole. It's Pig Leg Pete. He better not take off, said Mickey. He doesn't know our secret invention for reversing the rocket to get back. And our space suits will be too small for him when he gets to the moon. It will serve him right, said Dono. No, we got to stop him and save our ship, said Mickey firmly. So away they sped in the car, following the path of the truck up the twisted mountain road. When they came to a stop on the hidden flying field, the spaceship was standing, posing for fright. Piglet Peep was nowhere to be seen. Let's get in and start it up, cried Dono. He and Mickey quickly climbed the board. Get out of here before Piggly Pete come back, Donald shouted to Daisy and Minnie, and they bolted the door behind them. Minnie and Donald, wait, Minnie and Daisy drove to the nearby field. There they watched as the spaceship roaring to the sky, spitting dust and swirling clouds. Still no sight of Pig legs, Minnie said. You don't suppose, cried Daisy, that he could be aboard the ship. That's just where he was. After Mickey and Dino had bolted the door, Mickey sat down at the controls and twisted a little dial to take off. Then Dino pulled on the rocket release with an Air sprit and roar, the spaceship launched forward and they saw Earth dripping away. Where Doug cried a loud voice, then Faith peered out of the baggage compartment. It would pig leg Pete, waving a gun. Where are you where are you trying to do? he roared, turning this thing around. I just discovered a no space suit. Big enough for me on board.
We can't reverse the rocket until we get to the moon, explained Mickey Mouse. Then before Pig Leg could do any harm, Donald whacked him over the head. His heavy body sank to the floor. What we do with him now, Donald asked. Just tie him up, said Mickey, and pack him in with a surprise to keep him from freezing on the moon. We'll have to give him oxygen when we land. When the cold, rocky landscape of the moon learned up ahead, the two explorers was ready in their spacesuits. With a thump and a bump, the spaceship clunked to a stop. We made it, cried Mickey, shaking down her hand. Now all we have to do is get back to Earth again. Mickey and Donald knew that Pigleg Pete might freeze in the moon extreme cold. There wasn't a moment to lose. With a short touch, they twist the screws and tighten the bolts of the rocket reverse and hurry back to the ship. Wait, cried Dino at the last minute. With a swing of his screwdriver, he cracked off a chunk of moon rock and tossed it into the ship before scrambling him back in himself. The oxygen getting low, Mickey cried. It's keep Pete going, but we'll have to get back to Earth super fast or we'll all be gone for. With a roar, the rocket started off again. The moon glittered coldly behind them. Mickey bent over the direction of Finder, his face stern. One ship might mean the end for them all. The spaceship motion changed. Gravity was taking hold, and through the window they saw Earth rushing up at them again. They were safe. The home field were coming into view. When a resurface awaited them, when they unbolted the trusty strip door, what a cry went up as the hero appeared, supporting Pig Leg Pete, wobbling form. How did it feel to be on the moon? A TV launcher asked. Fine, said Mickey, grinning boldly, but it's better but it's better to be back home. So that was Mickey Mouse and his spaceship for 1952. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a good day with another video coming out real soon.